Hello and welcome back my stylish friends. Today we will be learning about stitch placement. There is so many stitch placement types. Today I will focus on regular stitch placement which means we will be not using any front and back posts but we will be utilizing the stitch itself. So let me make some chain stitches because every single project will have to start with the foundation of chain stitches, minimum one stitch. Now, depending how many chain stitches you need for your project, you need to add additional few stitches depending what stitch you will be using in the project. So I will use double crochet, so I will leave the three stitches as my first double crochet stitch and I will make my stitch in the fourth stitch from the hook. Also chain stitch has three loops, two up front and one in the back. And today we will be learning how to place stitches in all those loops. So first I'm using back loop, which is the farther away from you. And I'm making double crochet. Uh, today I'm not explaining how to make double crochet. I'm just explaining where to place the stitches. So if you go between the loops of your chain stitch, that means you're working in back loop. When working in a back loop uh, in the foundation chain, stitches might get a little bit looser or wider. That's why we have different uh, stitch placement to avoid that depending on the project. In many projects, actually, this is very useful. But in some project, for example, when you're making head and you're starting from the bottom up, I usually do not use this method because I personally do not like how the foundation chain look like. It looks very flat and looks um, somehow fragile. The second stitch placement will be the front loop. So let's make a stitch in the front loop. Front loop, that's your back loop, that's your front loop. Front loop is the stitch closer to you. And to work that stitch, you do not go through the loops, but you're going under the front loop. And then you're making the stitch. So you're twisting your foundation chain a little bit and now your back bumps are showing on your right side. Those are the back bumps. So once again, you're going under the front loop and making the stitch. And with this method, as with the back loop, the foundation chain looks flat. So I want to show you another method, which is um, keeping the foundation chain the way that your stitches looks on the top. So let me twist my foundation chain. This is originally how I have. So now if I twist my foundation chain towards me, I will expose the back bump and I will make my stitches in the back bump. So I'm placing my hook from front to back through the back bump. This is my favorite method to work in foundation chain because it will give me nice look not only on the top of my stitch but also on the bottom of my stitch. And you want to be sure you have two loops under your hook before you're making the stitch. Even if this method is my favorite one, I cannot use this all the time 
because all depends on the project you are making. Like with any art project, artist has to visualize what you want to see in the end. So you have to plan for the complete project to be made. And you are an artist. Okay, so we do have now three different placement. Let me show you the fourth one. Now my bump is on the top. And what I will do, I will twist my uh, foundation chain again, like originally was, where I see two loops on the top and I go under the front loop and under the back loop. So I'm making my stitch placement through the stitch. And this is the most common way to work any stitches, but not often used in the first row. If the way I make this stitch was a little bit difficult for you to follow, I want to show you a little bit different variation how to accomplish the same look by twisting your foundation chain upside down as you will be working your stitches in the back loop. But in this case, you're going under your back loop from back to front. And then you're moving your foundation chain back you want to have two loops on the top of your hook and then you're making stitch. So let's do this again. I know this one is the most difficult one. You're twisting your foundation chain, exposing the back bump. You're putting your hook through both loops for a moment just to pick up the back bump from back to front and then you're twisting your foundation chain back and you're making your stitch. This stitch is not often used in the first row but I feel like it's very pretty and it's giving you nice decorative design on the bottom of your foundation chain by exposing the back bumps. Okay, let's make the last one and we will see how the foundation chain change its shape once completed. Last one and done. Yay, we did it. Okay, we have four different placements. Back loop, front loop, back bump, and through the stitch. And you can see the bottom of the foundation chain look different. Some of them are flat, some of them have nice decorative stitch on the bottom, and some of them are more uh, plumped. But let me know which one is your favorite, and if you use all of them in your projects. Also, I hope you learned something new today, and thank you for spending time with me and crocheting with me. If you like this video, you might also like this one.